Blender and Cinema 4D are two of the most popular 3D modeling and animation softwares. And whether you're a beginner about to start your 3D creation journey or a professional with years of experience, you've probably asked the question, which is better, Blender or Cinema 4D? Now to understand which software fits your needs, we are going to compare both of these programs in different aspects of the 3D creation world. Now let's get started. Modeling and Sculpting When it comes to modeling, Blender has many tools that makes him a better choice when compared to other 3D packages. I'm not saying that Cinema 4D is bad, but Blender has a wide range of modifiers to enjoy the non-destructive workflow and create complex models more easier and faster. You can also widen the range of what Blender is capable of doing by using some paid or free add-ons. Cinema 4D also has great tools for modeling, but where Blender actually takes the lead is in its sculpting tools. Cinema 4D sculpting tools are a bit limited when compared to Blender. The Blender team was adding new features and tools to it for a while now. Blender now is almost equivalent to the industry standard ZBrush in some areas when it comes to sculpting. Rigging and animation Many artists agree that Blender animation and rigging tools are one of the best in the industry. The Blender team has been working on animation tools and features since the beginning. It can create high quality animation shorts and that's why the Blender animation studio has been creating wonderful short movies just by using it. Also Blender has a 2D animation system known as the Grease Pencil. It has the ability to create 2D short movies like the movie Hero that was created by the Blender Animation Studio. The Grease Pencil is also used to create storyboards and 2D motion graphics. Cinema 4D on the other hand also has some good animation and rigging features and tools but when compared to Blender, many artists agree that Blender tools are a bit better, especially when it comes to characters. For the 2D animation part, Cinema 4D has some, has some tune shading features to help you turn a 3D object into a 2D one, but it's still very limited when it comes to the 2D stuff. Blender has outstanding fluid, smoke, cloth and fire simulations you can get realistic fluid dynamics, smoke, and fire effects using native Blender tools. When compared to Cinema 4D, I think that Blender has the upper hand here. However, Cinema 4D has something called X-Particles, which is a premium plugin that is simply the standard in particle dynamic effects. But the catch is that it costs around $108 for the learning license and up to $1000 for the complete edition. Also this plugin is sold only as part of the Insidium Fused collection that includes other plugins, add-ons and libraries and cannot be purchased separately. Motion Graphics This is the 3D field that Cinema 4D is known for taking the crown in because it has been developed over the years with many tools and features that made it easy to understand and user friendly to facilitate and improve the process of creating high quality motion graphics to dominate this section of the 3D computer graphics. On the other hand, Blender also has all the necessary tools and resources to create high quality motion graphics. I think that Blender is catching up in this area. Also there is tons of free and paid add-ons that are created to facilitate some areas of the 3D motion graphics creation. Rendering Cinema 4D has two built-in render engines, Physical Renderer and Pro Renderer. Both of them are decent enough but nowadays they don't give you what you want from a render engine. With Cinema 4D, you can use other third-party powerful render engines such as V-Ray, Octane 
and Arnold. Now Cinema 4D comes with the well-known Redshift render engine which was developed by Maxon, the same company that made Cinema 4D. This render engine is well known for being fast and efficient. Now for Blender, this program has two powerful render engines. The first one is Cycles which is the physically based ray tracer and EV which is the real time render engine. You can use either of them based on your needs and like Cinema 4D you can also use other render engines like Radeon Pro Render, Octane Render and V-Ray. The user interface. After the 2.8 release for Blender, the user interface became much more user friendly and attractive, which caused many people to start learning Blender or go back to learning how to use it. On the other hand, Cinema 4D had a really clean and user friendly interface from the beginning. Pricing It's here where Blender beats every other 3D software because it's a free and open source program. On the other hand, Cinema 4D costs $62 a month and an extra $23 a month if you want the Redshift renderer. You can also have a bundle of them plus ZBrush, Red Giant, Forger and Universe for $113 a month. The Learning Curve Cinema 4D is known for being one of the easiest 3D softwares to learn and use based on the experience of many beginners and advanced users. On the other hand, from a personal opinion, I think that Blender also doesn't have a hard learning curve. There are tons of tutorials, courses and forums to help you learn and solve your problems. I also think that the difficulty of learning a 3D software is not the same for every person. I mean two different people can find Cinema 4D or Blender hard or easy to learn, depending on how bad they want to learn it for example. That's it for this video, tell me in the comments below your preferred 3D software and why. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, goodbye.